This video is immunology series video. In this video, we will be discussing about humoral immunity and cellular immunity. Particularly, we will be more towards their differences. To understand what's humoral and cellular immunity, we see when the pathogen enters your body, it has to counter your immune system first. And in that case, the immune system launches the attack for the pathogen to be eliminated. Our immune system either launches attack by making antibodies to counter the pathogen or the cells itself engage to eliminate the pathogen. And the most important thing is that the antibodies eliminate the extracellular antigens or pathogens that are circulating in your circulatory system. While as some immune cells engage to eliminate the intracellular antigens. So immune system works in two ways. The antibody mediated immunity forms the humoral type of immunity. While as the immune cell mediated immunity forms the cellular immunity. Now let's see in detail how both mechanisms occur side by side. The most important difference between humoral and cellular immunity is that humoral immunity is antibody mediated immunity. While as the cellular is cell mediated immunity. The second difference we see is that humoral immunity eliminates extracellular pathogens or antigens while as the cellular immunity eliminates intracellular pathogens or antigens. In humoral immunity, the B cells play a major role while as in cellular immunity, the T cells play a major role. Now let's see the humoral immunity in detail first. In humoral immunity, we see when there is presence of any extracellular antigen in our body, it triggers the immune system to defend against this antigen or pathogen. And the B cells of our immune system comes into action. The B cells bind to the antigen for which it's specific via receptors. After the binding of the B cell, the B cell requires some help from T cells. So in that case, the help is given by the T helper cells from the cellular immunity. And these T helper cells secrete cytokines and these cytokines from the T cell transform B cells of humoral immunity into antibody producing cells called plasma cells. And you know the plasma cells have capability to produce antibodies. So plasma cells produces the antibodies for the specific pathogen. After that the antibody neutralize the extracellular pathogen and eliminate it. So this is how humoral immunity works. Now getting to the cellular immunity. We see the intracellular pathogens are displayed or flagged by antigen presenting cells via MSC processing. Intracellular antigens are expressed on the surface of antigen presenting cells like macrophages or dendrites. In the first step, the T cells bind to the MSC antigen complexes on the surface of infected cell, activating the T cell with its cytokine receptors. The activated T cell secrete cytokines which in turn activates T helper cells and macrophages. After that, the T cell transforms into cytotoxic T cell. And this cytotoxic T cell induces apoptosis in the infected cell and eliminates the intracellular pathogen via apoptosis. So in this way, the cell mediated immune system works. Also remember, some T and B cells differentiate into memory cells that respond rapidly to any secondary encounter with an antigen. So this is all about humoral and cellular immunity. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.